This involves putting two mice together, what we call parabiotic mice, and it's a kind of experiment I call a fountain of youth experiment. What we do in this experiment is remove the outer skin of two mice and sew them together, kind of like Siamese twins. So we now will have a young mouse and an old mouse sewn together, and the consequence of that is that they share their bloodstream. They're really quite happy. They continue to live a long life and run around in the cage and eat and play as they normally would. The experiment I'm going to show you has to do with injuring the muscle in the mice and then asking whether there's anything special about being young which allows your body to repair better. In fact, I'll remind you that when you were a little boy or girl, it was commonplace for you to, say, fall off your bike or have an accident and then not even remember it a few days later. Your body was, as I've, as I've already said, very good at tissue repair and healing. As you age, that ability to repair muscle and heal, fix your bruises, as it were, slows down. So when I fall off my bike now, I not only remember it the next day, I remember it for several weeks. It takes my body much longer time to repair itself. So this experiment is designed to get at what is it about a young person that allows them to repair their muscle at a fast rate. In this experiment, the paired mice have one muscle injured, a thigh muscle what you might call a charley horse is given to the thigh muscle. What you see here on the left are the controls where two young mice paired together have one muscle injured in one of the thighs, and it repairs at the normal rate. I draw your attention to all of those red cells which show rapid repair. The second thing this control experiment shows is that pairing a young mouse with an old mouse does not diminish the young mouse's ability to repair its muscle. So the amount of new red cells is the same. Another control is to compare two old mice, put them together and injure the old mouse's muscle. And here you see far fewer red cells. The repair rate is very slow. But the key result, the one you can guess is coming, shown here at the end, is to pair a young mouse with an old mouse and now injure the muscle in the old mouse. And sure enough, look at all those red cells. The old mouse has now been rejuvenated, as it were. It's repairing its muscle at the young rate. So we dearly like to know what is it in young blood that stimulates muscle stem cells in an old mouse to make it repair better. This raises the question of what other aspects of aging might be affected by young factors. Might it have to do with our loss of memory, um, with our heart function? So we're very keen to pursue these kinds of experiments, finding out what is it in a young animal that stimulates old stem cells, as it were, to make them young again.